this is Uncle Timo. And we are done with the German side of the battle. Uh, what have I done here? What have we done? Hopefully you're following this up. So clicking here, going for zero regime. We have added a few more uh, Panzer. And I will let you uh, pause the video and read. Okay, motorized. You can see that I chose a different color here. This is from here. So it's easier to spot it. Panzer Grandier. Again, I put a text on it just to allow the player to see it better. You can see how I did it. Now, Army, Art Army Artillery, which is attached to the headquarters of the each army, which is there's three of them. Uh, then we have fighters. Then we have level bombers. And then we have dive bombers. Now, when we define them inside of okay, the TO, TOE, uh, the TOE, <laughs> uh, we don't have these uh, tiers here. Only tier 1 is designed, right? So when we click on a field, on a hex, and we click on a unit, these show up here. So what you need to do is you need to rename them, and then you need to click on each of them, and you need to click here, and you need to find what uh, what you needed to change to. For example, it was dive bomber one tier one, so it was just dive bomber. So we clicked here, we looked for dive bomber two, and we clicked it, and it changed it. So we can double check everything here if it's correct. Another thing that's very important is you click here on these subunits, and of course people are German, they always should be, but Make sure to change their morale, entrenchment value, and readiness. Readiness always 100. Entrenchment, I gave them 55. And morale for the Wehrmacht non-elite units, like infantry, I gave them 70. But for uh, Panzer and Wehrmacht motorized and Panzer Grenadier, I gave them 80. Same readiness 100, entrenchment 55. Uh, artillery, again, 70. Okay. Uh, for the Jagd Geschwader, they are very high morale. They are just gonna shoot everything down. Their morale is 100. It's fighter 3. They should dominate the Soviets. Uh, no entrenchment for the fighters. Okay, they, they cannot entrench. Same thing with the Kampfgeschwader. Which again, you rename here. It was called regular unit 38, right? So you just rename it here. Of course, uh, supply is false. Uh, we might also give all of these things uh, a supply here just to make them... Uh, there's a button you can press to give them battle ready before you start the scenario, but we can give them a supply here also. But that's how you do it, and make sure that you give them morale and readiness. Okay? So how does it look on the map? You can see that we have one artillery per each headquarters, army headquarters. So this belongs to this one. Well, Take a quick look, shall we? Oops, not this one. This one. Okay. You can see that here's the headquarters, and this artillery belongs to this headquarters, which is Bush, just 16th Army. And then we have this red one, which is Hopner, that's the 4th Panzer uh, group. That's a very powerful formation. They are in reserve. They are here to exploit everything. You can I put one motorized here just to help them punch through on the coast. And the rest of them will go here. So, um, over than adding all these ground units, I put every single uh, uh, air unit that I put. I have one Jagdgeschwader, which is JG. We have two level bombers, which are KG, and two Stukas, which is Sturm Geschwader, but, you know, Stuka here on top. So even though it's similar, it's a similar icon, it's, you know, because we named them on top, the player will be able to see, okay, KG is level bomber, Stuka is, of course, dive bomber, and your JG is fighter. Okay? So that's it. We are pretty much done with the German order of battle. And I will do probably off camera uh, the Russian order of battle. Okay? 
you can see that I spread out nicely uh, to cover the whole border um, with this one being the exploitation core sorry exploitation army to punch once these guys punch through and make holes the ones are supposed to just roll hell or lever into Leningrad if you can so that's that all right take care